this is part two of my big Black Friday to Cyber Monday crafty shopping adventure online and everything in between. In this video, I have uh, three different orders to show you. We have Doodlebugs, uh, Hallmark Scrapbook, and Not Too Shabby. I'm pretty excited about all of these goodies. Some of them have been on my wish list for a really long time. Some of these sites had really great sales and coupons, so I'm really excited to get into what we have to show you. <clears throat> so the first one comes from Doodlebugs Washington. From Washington, of course. I have this great big bag of fun stuff to show off. Oh, I love the smell of new stamps. <laughs> Let's see, of course I got my little cellophane sleeve here with my packing slip, which I don't need because I have it up on my computer. Here is their business cards here, their website, doodlebugswa.com. And everything comes wrapped in the this, uh, um, <laughs> I forget the word for it, tissue paper, and I will hang on to this and use it to wrap a gift or something. So the first thing comes from the recent My Favorite Things release. It's the Sassy Pants Holiday Sentiments. I don't normally invest in just straight sentiment sets at all. This one, I felt like it was calling to me. <laughs> there are some amazing sentiments in here and uh, fair warning, they're not uh, not necessarily um, safe to have your children around. I, I, won't read, I won't read those ones aloud, but you can see here on the screen. Um, it's beginning to look a lot like cocktails. I saw that video Amy R. did with the uh, martini shaker card and I want to replicate that. That is kind of what sold me on this stamp set. Uh, deck the halls and not your family. <laughs> uh, this year, jingle all the way. Uh, let it flow, let it flow. The wine that is Merry Elfin Christmas. Uh, if you had any more holiday spirit, you'd be pooping jingle bells. I hope you love the present you told me to buy for you. This one would, like if my husband made cards, this would so be like the card that he'd make for me. Uh, you're festive AF and I love it. It has an abbreviation. That is an abbreviation. Uh, let's get blitzened. And happy holidays to my best friend who loves me despite being completely aware of every explicit detail of my life. Now that my 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 own best friend has recently moved back into the area um, after a uh, painful uh, marriage and divorce, so I'm looking forward to. Well, I've spent pretty much every weekend with her since she's been back, of course. But I will be making a card for her, so just for her with this stamp set. Uh, anyway, or one of my best friends. I have two best friends. <laughs> one of them lived three hours away. One only lives an hour and a half away. So I see him more often than the, uh, than the one that lives three hours away. Well, now she lives here. So now she's only 20 minutes away. Anyway, this stamp set, I, I just needed to have it. Um, it was not on sale, but I did have, I got it from um, Doodlebugs because there was a coupon code for a straight 30% off everything if you spent over a hundred dollars so um, yeah so I, I did get it for 30% 30, 30 off so it was $17.99 originally I'm really looking forward to this one the next one I did recently acquire my very first Concord and Ninth stamp set you may have seen it in a couple of my videos um, the mixtape stamp set and I just I fell in love with it I was not completely unaware of Concord and Ninth. A lot of their stuff um, isn't for me, but they do have some things that are for me. So I've been kind of going through and um, making a bit of a wish list. And this is something that I had my eye on for a while that I just wasn't, I didn't want to plunk down the cash for. <laughs> so this is the Shine Bright stamp set. And again, I got 30% off of everything. Uh, da -da -da -da. This is from 2018, but it's not saying when, which, from which release that it was from, but we've got lots of really great uh, sentiments that can layer, which I'm looking forward to playing with that. I'm traditionally not, traditionally, historically not really great at lining stuff up when it's so precise. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll get lots of practice with that. And of course, this fabulous light bulb and some other shining things that you can do with this. And of course the sentiments are really great. Obviously we have shine bright on, um, with your bad self, the world is yours. Let your light shine, a little ray of sunshine to brighten your day and it's your time too. So I thought this would make a lot of really nice encouragement cards. 
uh, and this will encourage me as well to work with some of my background techniques. I have some ideas. Another product that I picked up that I'll show later in this haul, I have some ideas on how to combine those two. And of course I grabbed the coordinating dies for this as well, and it makes um, the word shine here, and it cuts the shadow layer as well. So I could do this in like uh, vellum or another kind of paper or whatnot. So I thought that would be fun. So I did grab those two. And moving on with the haul, more Conquer and Knife, another one that has been on my wish list. I've been wanting, um, I do have a really, really small cactus set from Kindred Stamps. I've been wanting something bigger. Uh, and I had been eyeing the stamp set, I think it's from Lawn Fawn. It has a nice little succulent stamp set. But when I saw this one a few months ago, and the huge images on this, this is a large 6 by 8 stamp set, so... This cactus is two and a quarter inches wide. This one's four and a quarter inches tall. So this is huge. This is definitely uh, your focal point on the card, especially when you combine it with a pot or something. This really spoke to me more, something larger. And of course the stuck on you, when life gets prickly, I'll stick with you and hope your birthday is on point. Very funny. This this made it to my wish list, and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and I've almost bought it so many times, and I forced myself to take it out of the cart. Finally, it is mine. <laughs> so this has been on the wish list, and this technically is called Stuck on You. Really fun, very large stamp set. It's regular price, $23.99. I got it for $15.98, plus it was 30% off. So a really good deal on that, and I did grab the coordinating dies, and it has some sort of like little zigzag thing that you can use to, oh, there's one on the back too. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice this when I opened up. So here are the dies, and then there's a little note on the back saying, this is a replacement die for the zigzag piece, which now includes paper ejection holes. Oh, okay. I'm guessing this was some sort of a factory. I had no idea. I literally have not opened, uh, looked at, I look, I, when I opened the package, I looked at the front, but not the back. So I'm guessing what happened is when they originally issued this die, look at that. There are no little holes to poke the, your paper through to get it out. So they probably sent everyone that carries their product, this replacement here that does have the little pokey holes and at Doodle Bucks, they just kind of taped it to the back of the package to keep it together. Really clever idea. That is a really good call. I'd never even noticed that this didn't have the holes in it. I might have been tearing out my hair. Anyway, so that's cool to have that included. Uh, this was $33.99 originally. Uh, it, it was on sale for $19.98, plus I got 30% off. So another big one to check off my wish list. Here's another one that has been on my wish list. This is the Orange U Suite from Concord and Ninth. And obviously I was extremely drawn to this one because of all the different citrus fruits. I love citrus fruits and I love doing crafts, citrus fruit themed crafts. We have these very large sentiments here. You're sublime, thinking of you, hello. I could just squeeze you, orange you so. Kiwi hang out soon. You can make a kiwi, my husband loves kiwi. Dropping you a lime, I miss you, you're so, thanks a melon. All these great different things that you could use to layer or you could color with them. I think that would be fun. A little some hearts, I think these are seeds. Some more seeds, some juice squirting out maybe. Love this one. I did, um, I did not get the coordinating dies from Doodlebugs because they didn't have them. We'll see more on this later, but anyway. <laughs> So this is from Doodlebugs. Basically, I checked three major things off the wish list. A guilty, a guilty pleasure. So my total was, oh my goodness, I have to add it up. It shows me what I, the what I paid and not my total purchase. So I paid seventy four eighty three, but my discount was thirty two dollars and six cents with the coupon code. Okay, so my total was one hundred and six eighty nine. 30% off is $32.06, so this made it $74.83, and I got free shipping and tons of points. Uh, we save points at, at Doodlebugs. You can save up to redeem for other things. I'll have a link down below um, if you're interested in uh, supporting me. I will have my uh, uh, referral link down below if you're interested in starting to shop from Doodlebugs. I highly recommend it. 
the clearance section is updated every once in a while and it's really really generous with the discounts and also they tend to have a lot of really new products in stock which I like I didn't go to, I didn't do too much cruising through the shop though <laughs> I was on a budget so there we are with doodlebugs so the next thing I want to show you is Hallmark scrapbook there we go and this is one of my favorite sites to buy from and I got tons of goodies from there Ooh. now they were doing I think their coupon code was for 10% off but it was only active for a very small time frame I think it was on Black Friday yeah okay so for a very small amount of time on Black Friday for like six hours or whatever this coupon code was active so I had already had my shopping cart all ready to go <laughs> I was ready to go and check out uh, by the time it was uh, the checkout time <laughs> by the time the coupon code was active I was ready to go with one new addition and I'll actually show you that first they had um, on special for their Black Friday they had their version of the Teflon bone folder on sale and I've already opened it to play with it a little bit I've always said that I would never invest in a bone folder because I didn't feel like spending $25 for something that it just didn't seem worth it to me but their special was their branded bone folder they had on sale for $9.99 on Black Friday so I was like you know what I'm probably never ever going to see a Teflon bone folder at that price ever again I'm gonna give it a try so I grabbed it it feels pretty cool I like it I haven't actually had a chance to use it to fold anything yet <laughs> But I'd been playing with it and kind of just it allegedly it doesn't leave a like a that shiny mark on paper after you use it. I don't know. I tried seeing if I could get it to come up and I can't. So I will let you know how this goes. This is what this is my other bone folder that I have been using for quite a while. So there's definitely a big difference. I don't know, we'll see. Again, it was $9.99. I was not sure if I'd ever see one that price ever again. Hallmark scrapbook branded, I think it's already back to its regular price of 20 something <laughs> at this point. So I have a couple of just fun little things to show you from Hallmark scrapbook. I grabbed these sparklets embellishments, these sort of half beads. I grabbed some in the clear very pretty and then I grabbed some in this heart shaped and it seems like there's like light pink and maybe some clear and some red iridescent ones in here I grabbed these because I'm working on my Valentine's Day crafts and I thought this would be really fun to kind of spice them up a little bit <laughs> sparkle them up a little bit with some red hearts so I just thought that would be fun these were not very expensive da -da 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 -da. they were two dollars and fifty five cents a piece and they had a whole bunch of different kinds they even had some blue like snowflake type ones that I was interested in that were sold out they looked like in the picture like the ones that came in the October hero arts kit those little uh, things the accessories that we got with it so I wonder if it's the same company that hero arts just repackaged them but they were sold out I'll go back for more I still have some left over from my from my kit but anyway, so those were really fun. Oh, and I'm sorry, it was $9.99 on this, and their regular price is $26, they say. So, really good deal. $10 for a real Teflon bone folder. Okay, I can do $10. $25 is pushing it. I grabbed just some replacements for the square shaker pouches from My Favorite Things, just because I was out. So I figured I would grab those. They have the... Um, uh, they have the same price as Hallmark Scrapbook has them. Oh, not Hallmark Scrapbook. They, Hallmark Scrapbook has the same price as My Favorite Things charges for them. And I wasn't about to, you know, to place an order anywhere else. So I figured while I was ordering, I would just grab them from Hallmark Scrapbook. So those are $3.99. Also from Concord and Nine, this is a fairly recent release. This one is called the Geode Stamp Set. This one, I absolutely fell in love with it, and I kind of, it kind of just kept making go down to like the, 
the list a little bit. I was going to pick this one, one up a couple months ago back when I bought the mixtape, but I ended up running, r running out of room in my budget, so this one got bumped down a little bit. I decided to prioritize it this time through because I'm already working on my Valentine's crafts, as I said, and I have some ideas to make Valentine's Day cards with this, and I did grab the coordinating dies, and this one um, cuts a little sentiment as well. And I think it says something, you are a rare find, I think is what it says. I'm not very great at reading backwards, but it has this really large geode here and then this heart-shaped one and then hope your day rocks hysterical you are stay for being my rock inside and out strong so you can build a lot of really neat sentiments with this and this is a smaller stamp set for uh concord and ninth let's see oh i bought this as a bundle there was no price difference between buying it as a bundle or buying it separately but i just grabbed it as a bundle so it was 35.70 for the bundle and then of course like i did get the 10 percent off at checkout so there's some more Concord and Ninth for you. And here are the coordinating dies to your suite uh, that I picked up from the last haul here that I showed you just a moment ago. Actually, they've, they've never met <laughs> because they've been sitting in their package. So look at that. Now I can put them together and they're married now. Isn't that sweet? So, <laughs> so these are the coordinating dies to your suite. They happen to be on clearance at Hallmark Scrapbook at 30% off. So they were $11.20 and I did get 10% off this. So I ended up completing my collection through two different stores. So that's cool. <laughs> and now they're together forever. Very sweet. Okay, another one from my wish list that has been out of stock from Hallmark Scrapbook for like ever. We have the Honey Bee Stamps uh, Shine On stamps with the nail polish and then the little die set here this is a smaller set i have so many card ideas using this i am super psyched that it is back in stock look at all these great sentiments that you can use the the punny i'm nothing if i don't love a good pun manny thanks thanks for helping me nailed it sparkle on tough as nails here's the little coordinating dies super excited about this i just i was in love with this when it first came out and it's been sold out for like ever from my favorite store. Let's see, so the dies were $8.95. Pretty reasonable, I think, even though it's a small set, but how many different dies are in this set. And the stamps were also $8.95. So really good price, and again, I did get 10% off of those. You may notice a lack of Christmas stuff. That's because I buy, buy Christmas stuff like the whole rest of the year. <laughs> However, this did come out in Sunny Studios winter release, but I was thinking Valentine's Day for this. Uh, it is the Small Eskimo Kisses from Sunny Studio. It's this adorable little Eskimo boy and Eskimo girl, and it just says Eskimo Kisses. I was thinking Valentine's Day cards, really cute, really fun, or winter cards in general. This is not, you know, Christmas specific. Um, I do like some of the other things that Sunny Studios, I love the fox, the fox set and the llama set, but they're kind of... Um, like I already have sets that kind of cover those themes, so I didn't want to uh, spend my budget on something where I kind of already had something along those lines. So I don't know, someday I might destash those, then I'll get the Sunny Studio ones. That's one of the great things about uh, this craft is that it's everybody loves it. So, <laughs> so you shouldn't ever really, as long as you take care of your stamps and stuff, you shouldn't ever have a problem just reselling something and picking out something new when you're done with it. Anyway. So let's see, the stamps were $4.24 and the dies were $5.09. Really cute. And, oh, and also from the Sunny Studio release, I grabbed the, um, the Holiday Cheer double-sided paper. I didn't, I didn't need this. I needed it like I need a hole in the head because I have so much other Christmas paper. But I figured there's a lot of just general really fun and cute things in here that doesn't necessarily have to be holiday. Those snowflakes are kind of winter. This this is very Valentine's day -y. These polka dots here. This is just kind of very standard winter. Or maybe the holly's a little bit Christmas, but the snowflakes and stuff winter. This could even be summer, like a picnic theme or something. Just some really cute prints. Kind of flip through really quick for you. I love Sunny Studio paper. Yeah, I like this stripey one. All of the papers coordinate together really well, so you you know that if you're grabbing a pack of Sunny Studio... Oh, this is my favorite by far. You know if you're grabbing a pack of Sunny Studio paper that everything is going to work with everything else in it, which is really nice. And again, I'm thinking more... I know it's kind of Christmassy, but I can get a lot of use out of it for, for winter projects as well. 
I'll worry about getting that back in later. Really cute. So that was $6.29. And here's a new company for me. This is my first W plus nine. I've never tried anything W plus nine before, so I'm pretty excited. This set is called Flock Yeah, which is of course very punny, kind of on the bordering on the edge of being on the edge. So it's right up my alley. I thought this was hysterical. I kind of already have some flamingo stuff, but nothing quite in this style and definitely not with these sentiments. So I invested in it. Um, we've got flock. Yeah, you still got it. You are flocking fabulous. It's your birthday. Stand tall. This great palm tree as well. I have uh, some other palm tree stamps. Like uh, I have a I have one from a Lawn Fawn and one from my favorite things, the Pirate sets actually, but they are a lot smaller. So here's a nice big one that I can probably get some use elsewhere as well. Really adorable. And of course I grabbed the coordinating dies. I'm really excited to use this. Uh, again, this is my first W plus nine. It's not a company that I, I've heard of them and I've seen things, but I've never really shopped with them. So I'm really excited to give this a try. These stamps were $12.75. And the dies were 17. Hi, sweetie. My daughter just got home. And the last thing that I got from the Sunny Studios uh, release as well, I did grab this uh, cable knit embossing folder. They came out with two different embossing folders. The other one is really similar to one that I already have, but I didn't have anything for the cable knit. And I've opened it, but I haven't used it yet. It looks like a really nice folder. And now that I have a Gemini, I shouldn't have any issues getting a six by six to go through. I know with the cuddle bug, it's always like, it would exactly fit through the cuddle bug. So if you don't aim it perfectly, you might damage the edge of your embossing folder, but you don't have to worry about that with a Gemini. It's a lot bigger. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, this was $5.94. And again, I got 10% off of that as well. So that is my haul from uh, Hallmark Scrapbook. Okay, I'm back with the last, the last part of my haul. This comes from Not Too Shabby, and my daughter is home from school today and is my reluctant assistant behind the scenes over here. I will link the shop down below. So this also had a coupon code. Let's see, I forget how much, I think it was 30% off. Let's see. Like a Black Friday sale? Yeah, it was like a Black Friday sale. Let's have a look. We're viewing the order here. We have a lot of boxes. So I got a huge discount on this. Yeah, we do have a lot of boxes. We have, you can't see it on camera, of course, but I've been doing all of my Christmas shopping and stuff online. And then just like regular household shopping, like chewy boxes and stuff. And they're all broken down and stacked up waiting to go to recycling on Sunday. <laughs> Uh oh, they're getting there, waiting to go to recycling on Sunday. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the haul. I grabbed two packages of alcohol inks from Ranger. This one has uh, crimson, aquamarine, and sepia, and this one has some kind of yellow, which is moved so I can't see the color, and coral and pistachio. I already have a set of three in my little stash here, so this will kind of just give me a couple more color options. I hope to start playing with alcohol ink soon. So I grabbed those. It looks like, oh, here we, here's the little card for the Not Too Shabby Shop. And it looks like they have a rewards program as well. Free shipping for orders over $60. This was my free gift. If you spend, I think it's over $60, you get a free gift. I've got from Doodle Designs, I have these little shape sprinkles stickers called Happy Skies. These are freaking adorable. <laughs> I don't think I have anything Doodlebug. I don't think I've ever ordered anything Doodlebug. These are so cute. I'm probably gonna use these in my planner. Adorable. Okay, so the first thing that we have from Not Too Shabby is from Sunny Studios. It is the Sock Hop Stamp Set with this fabulous like 50s car and poodle skirt and jukebox and a couple of really fun sentiments. What's shaken, cruising by to say hi, your swell, hip chick, and cool cat. And I grabbed the coordinating dies to go with this as well. I believe these were on sale. No, I, no were they on sale? No, I don't think they were on sale, but just really, really cool. <laughs> I thought that this would make some fun stuff. I love Sunny Studios. I'm just starting to grab more. And speaking of Sunny Studios, this is the Pet Sympathy uh, stamp and die set. This, um, I absolutely love. This is a rebuy from me. I've de-stashed 
my set um, thinking that I was kind of done with it and I never found another Pet Sympathy set in my mind that kind of replaced uh, this my emotional sentiment behind these actual sentiments when I'm doing Pet Sympathy cards. Unfortunately, pets just pass away. It's it's awful, <laughs> uh, but you know, I find myself, you know, every couple of months needing to send out a few of them, and I really missed having this set, so I saw it and figured I would grab it again. Um, it's Fur Baby for Dogs and Cats, Leave Paw Prints on Our Heart, Sorry for the Loss of Your Furry Friend. In life, the best walks are always too brief, and lots of love during this difficult time. Just, it's a really, really nice set. Again, this is the second time that I've purchased it, so that's how highly I can recommend it. However, I grabbed the dies. And I didn't have the dies before. I used to just fussy cut these, and I always wished that I had the dies, and now that I have the set and the dies, so there you go. So I liked it so much that I bought it again. <laughs> this is from uh, Pink and Maine, and this is something that has been on my wish list since it came out uh, much earlier this year in the spring or summer. This is called Pocket Full of Sunshine, and basically you have this pocket here and you can fill it with sorts of things. Like you've got some playing cards, you've got a pocket protector, cell phone, sunglasses. Of course, you can actually physically put the sunshine in the pocket. I thought that this was absolutely adorable. This has been on my wish list for a really long time and I just never took the plunge. I decided to just take the plunge while they were having such an amazing coupon sale. I think, again, I think it was like 30% off or something. And I did grab the coordinating dies. I love pink and main dies. Not only are they gorgeous, they're pink. Um, and you know, fabulous. <laughs> uh, they're coated too, uh, in, in this, in, uh, blah, blah, blah. they're coated. So you, you don't have like the raw metal. Also, they come already separated for you. It's amazing. Love it. So these were $14.99 and the dies were $15.99. So I'm really pleased to have something else checked off of my list. And the last thing that I have from Doodle, uh, not Doodle Bugs, not too shabby, is I grabbed the My Favorite Things in the Spotlight uh, stencil, <laughs> which I've talked about a couple times on my channel. I tried getting it from My Favorite Things when I placed a My Favorite Things order like earlier in the month and they were out of stock. Um, they don't have it at uh, Hallmark Scrapbook at all. And that's the, that's the, that's the store that I order from most. Uh, so I finally found it in stock somewhere and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get it. Uh, you may have seen in my card share last month, um, I tried to uh, not really make my own stencil, but I tried to mask off to try to do this effect with some uh, inking on a card that I needed a spotlight for and it just, it looked terrible. <laughs> So now I'm glad to have the real thing uh, next time that I need this. And I was not going to let it pass me up. And I did get recently from my, my favorite things order, I did get all of the rest of the stuff that came uh, in for this in the release. I have the, the stage dies and I have the little performer girls and those dies. I just didn't have the stencil. Anyway, so the stencil was $6.99. So my total was $143.13 which is way over what my budget was. However, with my coupon code, I saved $52.70, so my total was $90.43, which was about $10 under budget, so yay. <laughs> that concludes part two of my enormous Black Friday to Cyber Monday slash winter haul. I have all sorts of projects, again, with the few exception you will notice that most of this is not Christmas and that's because I'm kind of done with Christmas at this point and I've moved on to Valentine's Day and beyond. Thank you so much for sticking with me this long if you have seen both of these videos. I appreciate your support and encouragement so much. It looks like I'm going to be busy all night cataloging stuff on my Pinterest page and putting things away. If you're interested I'll leave a link down below. I have all of my stamps and dies to date. Uh, once I finish this, I will have them uploaded onto my Pinterest page. So if you're interested in anything, you can look at it. You can cruise my entire collection there by clicking the link and, of course, uh, clicking the link to my Pinterest page. And then, of course, I will have, if something is available for sale, I will have a link for that as well. So if you want to shop directly from my stash, that's cool. So you can look for that down below. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite is out of this whole haul. I don't even know where to start. I really don't. Um, I'm finishing up some cards that I'm making for family, uh, for gift sets that I'm making for family. So when that's done, 
I'm kind of like, I'm free to start other things. So I'm, I'm not sure. I think I might want to work with the geodes, but I also kind of want to work with block. Yeah. So I'm not really sure. And of course I want to work with these. So I'm not really sure. These are probably my three. Oh, nope. Maybe four that I want to work with the most. And I can't decide between the four of them. I don't know. Anyway, thanks again. Take care. And until next time. Bye.